President Call, I have the honor to report that there are now present members of the graduating class, the staff, and the faculty of Queensborough Community College of the City University of New York. the governing bodies of the City of New York and the State of New York, all gathered to participate in these, the 53rd commencement exercises of Queensborough Community College of the City University of New York. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 53rd commencement exercises of Queensborough Community College of the City University of New York. Please stand, please stand for the singing of America the Beautiful, which will follow immediately. Queensborough music students, Chandra Chong and Stephen Tack, under the direction of Dr. Stephen Dalkey, will lead us in the singing. skies for amber waves of grain for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining The audience will please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Queensborough Community College of the City University of New York, Dr. Diane B. Call. Thank you, Grand Marshal Asser. On this very special day, the 53rd commencement exercises in our history, we celebrate the accomplishments of our students who will receive degrees and certificates. And you all look amazing. Really good. And in a very short time, you will be official graduates of Queensborough Community College. Welcome to your family and friends, to the many elected officials, to representatives of the CUNY Board of Trustees and the Chancellery, the Queensborough Community College Fund, and especially the faculty and staff who were such an important part of your college experience. This year, more than 2,000 students will graduate from Queensboro. Some will go on to university study. Our graduates have applied to over 75 colleges across this country, and they will choose to study at extraordinary schools such as our CUNY sister schools, Queens, Baruch, any takers? York. Hunter, John Jay, <laughs> New York City Tech, CCNY, College of Staten Island. Some of our graduates will go to CUNY colleges, to SUNY colleges, such as Albany, Stony Brook, 
and Binghamton. Some of our graduates will attend a private school, including NYU, the Cooper Union, Dartmouth, Columbia, Hofstra, Adelphi, St. John's, UPenn, Syracuse, Brown, Cornell, Fordham, Georgetown, and even the University of Miami. Some of you will graduate from rigorous career programs which have prepared you to work in the health, business, and technology fields. You came to Queensboro from all parts of the world, representing over 143 countries of birth with 84 native languages represented. Each of you has a personal story of courage, determination, and sacrifice to achieve the dream of a better life for you and your families through education. And all of us salute your accomplishments. Among you are military veterans who placed their lives in harm's way to protect our way of life. I'd like to call their names of our graduates who are here with us. Bradley Adams, Brenda Carpenter, Myron Griffith, Davoud Hajiji, Michael Lawrence, France Marquez, Ruchane Parker, Jasmine Rivera, Jonathan Rojas, and Nazir Khan. Will you, along with others in the audience who have served our country, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Our youngest graduate today is just 18 years old. Kyle Marcus Enriquez. <laughs> Among our many graduates who have distinguished themselves academically, we are especially proud of Ms. Yuting Chen. We know her as Joyce. Joyce was chosen from over 3,700 candidates across this country to be the recipient of the Jack Kent Cook Scholarship. There were only 85 of these awards given in the United States, and it includes a $30,000 a year scholarship. <laughs> Ms. Chen graduated in January, and she's now at Stony Brook studying biochemistry. As graduates, you leave with knowledge, new and advanced skills, and most of all, with personal values developed through the journey which took you to this special day. Your experiences in and outside of the classroom have changed you. Interactions with one another, with strangers who became friends, with faculty and staff who became mentors, all influenced your life. Now you will apply your knowledge, your skills, and most of all, the values you hold to better your life and that of others. This is your day, and many important people have come to bring you greetings. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome the Honorable Toby Ann Stavisky, New York State Senator and ranking member on the Senate Higher Education Committee. Senator Stavisky leads the effort without tiring to maintain access to affordable and high quality education for all who seek it. Senator Stavisky. Thank you, President Call. I love the way that sounds. We have a terrific president, and in fact, Queensboro has had a succession of really fabulous leaders. Um, let me quote. Abraham Lincoln, 150 years or so ago, he said, if I had eight hours to chop down a tree, 
I'd spend six hours sharpening my axe. And that's what you've been doing. You've been sharpening your axe, getting ready for graduation and either a job or continuing on to higher edu other high uh, institutes of higher education. As the president said, you come from all corners of the world because the United States and New York is truly the land of opportunity. And it's the land of opportunity and new opportunities for you. So no matter whether you are the traditional 20-year-old or the non-traditional student, as your student government president is, and he has an amazing story, uh, Queensboro is the place for the opportunity. And Queensboro traces its history back to the founding of the Free Academy in 1847, which is now City College. And at that time, their mission was to educate the sons and daughters of immigrants. Hasn't changed. That's what we're doing today. This mission is as alive and vibrant as it was in 1847. This is a commencement, but it's also an end and a beginning. And the legislative session in Albany is coming to an end. And we've had some successes in Albany. We increased the TAP award by a small amount, but it's the first time in, uh, first time in 14 years that we've had an increase. But we had a major disappointment, and that's the Senate's failure to pass the DREAM Act. The DREAM Act makes sense because it would enable undocumented students to receive tuition at the regular, at the normal price, and that's something that we in Albany, and I know my colleagues here, all support. So let me end with one of my favorite quotes from Harriet Tubman, the abolitionist. She said, every great dream begins, begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. So let us continue the dream that begins today. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Stavisky. It is now my pleasure to introduce and welcome the Honorable David Weprin, member of the New York State Assembly and a longtime friend to Queensboro. Uh, thank you, President Call. Uh, good morning, uh, honored guests, professors, parents, and of course, the graduating class of 2014. I want to thank Queensborough Community College and President Diane Call for allowing me to share a few words with these accomplished graduates. I greatly appreciate this opportunity uh, each and every year because as a member of the New York State Assembly, I don't have many chances to dress like a Hogwarts student in public. <laughs> Give yourselves a moment to take in this day. Your college career probably seemed to be a marathon of classes, projects, club meetings, job hunting, and countless other challenges. Through it all, you grit your teeth and charge forward exceeding every expectation along the way. You truly are a remarkable group of young men and women, and some older men and women. With all your diligent work and innumerable accomplishments, you have earned the privilege to wake up early on a beautiful Friday morning while the college mispronounces your names. To all the graduates here today, I can say 
On behalf of myself, uh, and um, you'll hear from my colleagues as well in the New York State Assembly, we are immeasurably proud of each and every one of you. I admire your steadfast determination and your hunger for success. There were those of you who seemed to have wings and you just soared over the obstacles and challenges that crossed your path. It is a wonderful gift and one that never fails to amaze me. The best among you will go on to cure disease, spread peace, and permanently improve the human condition. You will make history and be applauded time and time again. You guys will be fine. To the mediocre among you, uh, I suggest running for the New York State Assembly. <laughs> Commencement is a goal and accomplishment. However, it, makes the, it marks the beginning of new challenges ahead. Each one of you will find a way to change the world in some way. Armed with a great education and the love of those closest to you, the class of 2014 can be a great force for good for your families, your community, and the lives of those you touch. At every turning point in your lives, remember Mahatma Gandhi's words, live as if you were to to die tomorrow, learn as if you were to live forever. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblyman Weprin. Also representing the New York State Assembly, the Honorable Neely Rosick. Thank you, President Call. Um, Queensboro grads, how y'all doing? That was pretty lame. Queensboro 2014, where y'all at? All right, that's better. Um, so I'm Assemblywoman Neely Rosick. I uh, represent many of you in the State Assembly. It's such a great pleasure and honor to be here with so many of you, with the board, with your parents, with all you academics. Um, and as someone who can probably still consider her a friend of yours, a colleague, someone of the same age, perhaps, um, I wanted to come by and offer just a few words of advice that I wish someone had told me when I graduated not so many years ago. Hopefully one day I expect you to be the kind of people that actually give elected officials advice, uh, but here goes. Just a couple of things to keep in mind day in and day out. One is have a lot of fun in whatever you decide to do and pursue, but work even harder. Enjoy what you do and be passionate about it and want to get out of bed every single morning. I have that privilege and um, so many of my colleagues do too. And most importantly, especially on sunny days like today, don't forget to wear sunscreen. Thank you all for having me. Enjoy and congratulations. Thank you, Assembly Mem Member Rosick. I am also honored to welcome New York State Assemblyman Ed Bronstein. We've given him a new name. Hi, Ed. Thank you very much, President Call. Um, I represent the district that Queensboro College is uh, located in, and uh, I couldn't tell you, we couldn't be prouder to have such a great institution in our neighborhood, and it's really the people. I mean, when, when you guys are out in the community coming back and forth from school, we see you. Uh, you're always kind and courteous. Uh, we really appreciate the vibrancy you bring to the community, and for those of you who are moving on, uh, you're going to be missed around here. And I just want to you know, remind you to uh, to, to take a moment and to stop and reflect on this milestone uh, in your journey. Uh, you've worked very hard to get to this point. Uh, your families and yourselves should be very proud. Uh, and you deserve a moment to stop uh, and celebrate how far you've come. So congratulations and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblymember Bronstein. 
I am particularly pleased to introduce the Honorable Wellington Chen, who will bring greetings as a member of the CUNY Board of Trustees. Good morning. Uh, State Senator Toby Stavisky, Assemblyman David Webbrand, Annette Brownstein, Assemblywoman Neely Rosick, and uh, President Diane Call, and Vice Chancellor Iris Weinshaw, faculty, members, families, friends, and most importantly, you, the Queensboro Community College graduate class of 2014. It is my great pleasure to be here with you this morning to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the City University of New York. One of the most rewarding responsibilities that bestows upon me is to be present at commencement exercise as I am reminded that it is you, our students, who are the energy force of our city, state, and country. This morning, I have the opportunity to commend around 700 students who will be marching to receive their degrees at this commencement exercise. Class of 2014, there are many of you who are here today who have come from other countries such as I have to pursue your dreams. You are all inspiring examples of how to overcome obstacles. I know that many of you, the path to you chosen to your degree was not an easy one. And many of you may be the first in your family to earn a degree. And you should be very proud of that achievement. And I think you should also take this moment to give the family members who are here today, who have given them, given you a tremendous amount of support. You should, let's give them a round of applause. Also, my sincere thanks should also go out to all the faculty members who are here today as your success at Queensborough College is due to their dedication over the years and many of them over the decades, adding so much more to your learning experience. So let's give them a round of applause also. You began a journey when you earned, entered Queensborough Community College and today you have attained your degree because you have a hard work, dedication, and perseverance. You're on your way to success, class of 2014. I salute you. Be proud of yourself, but always remember, as the Chinese old saying goes, learning is a lifelong experience. Uh, and so keep on learning. Congratulations and good luck. And before you put on your sunscreen, Remember to come back after you put on your sunscreen. I expect you to contribute back to this community. Good luck and best of the. Bringing greetings from the Chancellor is the Vice Chancellor for Facilities, Planning, Construction, and Management, Iris Weinshaw. Good morning. It's an honor to be here today on this joyous occasion in this celebrated company. On behalf of our interim chancellor, William Kelly, and my colleagues at the CUNY Central Office, let me say to today's remarkable graduates, congratulations. All of us at CUNY are so proud of everything you've accomplished, your spirit, your determination and your creativity are an inspiration. Today you have reached the finish line, but you're also at the starting point for the next chapter of your lives. I can tell you, as a fellow alum of the CUNY system, you've made an investment in your future and that investment will pay off. My graduation was a pivotal moment for me, and I'm sure it's for each of you. My education opened up crucial doors for me, doors that led me here today and my career. I cannot wait to see what doors you open in the months and years to come. It's a real pleasure to be here today on this beautiful campus in this rich and diverse community. Queensboro truly encapsulates the heart of the CUNY mission and experience. And I'm so excited that all of the new facility projects we've been working on on this campus will make it even better. With the superb leadership and the vision of President Diane Paul, 
Some really special things are in store. I hope you'll come back to visit and enjoy the campus. Know that Queensboro is a home to which you can return and that you will always feel the support and pride and the great of this great institution on your back. I congratulate Dr. Call and all the faculty and staff here for their unflinching dedication to your success. Congratulations to all your friends and families who've supported and encouraged you. It is my supreme honor to share this singular day with you. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Vice Chancellor Wanshaw. Bringing greetings on behalf of the faculty, Professor Alexandra Tarasco, Chair of the Faculty Executive Committee. Welcome students and graduates. On behalf of the faculty, congratulations to the class of 2014. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments. We, the faculty, know how hard you've worked to sit here today. Many of you have faced challenges as you pursued your degree. Like many of you and your families, I was not born in this country. Like many of you, I did not speak English when I began school. Like many of you, my family struggled financially as they had to get jobs when they didn't speak the language. In fact, I remember as a student in elementary school going to get a pair of shoes for the fall with my father, and I wanted a pair of red shoes. My father said, no, you can only have brown or black shoes because they have to last you the year until you outgrow them. Well, the first thing I did when I got my first paycheck, thanks to my education, was to get a pair of red shoes. <laughs> like all of you sitting here today, my education began at a city university. It was free at that time, and if it was not for the City University of New York, I would not be standing here as a faculty member in the nursing department. It gave me the opportunity to pursue my dreams. I also struggled through college. Although tuition was free, I still had to pay for transportation and books. So during my studies, I worked in a sweatshop packing sweaters into boxes in a place without air conditioning. I almost lost my job there because I talked about getting a union in to increase wages and get some air conditioning in here. <laughs> During my career in the sweatshop, I got promoted from packing sweaters to sewing buttons on sweaters using a sewing machine. I insisted that this was a higher skill and I asked for a raise and I got it. Why am I telling you these stories? Because I want you to consider that as you move forward, don't be concerned that your path is not like that of others. It takes courage to be yourself and not live in reaction to the likes and dislikes of others. Be courageous and follow your heart. You need to walk down your own unique path in order to honor yourself and fulfill your purpose. We, the faculty, sincerely hope we have given you the tools to be courageous. And we hope we have instilled in you a love of learning. We are very proud of you. Congratulations.
Thank you, Professor Tarasco. Bringing greetings from the college's Academic Senate is the chair of the Academic Senate Steering Committee, Dr. Peter Bales. Thank you, President Call and distinguished guests, and congratulations to the class of 2014. I am here representing Queensborough's Academic Senate. For those of you who don't know, the Academic Senate is the democratic voice of the academic community of Queensborough Community College. It is made up of the various constituencies of the college, including faculty, administration, alumni, and yes, most definitely students. In other words, for over 50 years now, the Academic Senate has been the place where we have all come together to decide collectively what kind of a place we want Queensborough to be. A number of our graduates have contributed to the work of the Academic Senate, and I wish to acknowledge them by name. The outgoing SGA officers are Stephen Jones, <laughs> Lita Ramos Arce, <laughs> Nuang Yankee, <laughs> Latifa Facey. Ross Dong, Lindsay Benjamin, Jolie Kaufman, Eric Vested, Jessica Opokwa, and Zulfagar Sumro. These graduates have made a difference, and we should thank them with a round of applause. And now, to all of you graduates, as you embark on life after Queensboro, remember that you are citizens of New York City, New York State, the United States of America, and the planet Earth. And along with its privileges, citizenship carries responsibilities. So care, form opinions, get fired up, get mad, and don't ever forget to vote. Take this world from your elders and make it your own, and while you're at it, make it better. Definitely make it better. Today is a fine time to enjoy your accomplishments with your friends, and tomorrow, when you are making new friends, always remember your old friends here at Queensboro. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Bales. Bringing greetings from your fellow students is Mr. Stephen Jones, President of the Queensboro Student Government. President Cole, Vice President Hardikin, professors, faculty, staff, honor guests, and of course, my fellow graduates, we made it! It has been a privilege to serve as the college's student government president. I want to thank God for carrying me this far. If not for him, I would not be here today. It is an honor to speak at this esteemed event. I was very scared when I first walked onto this campus. You see, being 60 years old and back in school, <laughs> being back in school after 43 years and after only completing the eighth grade, Enrolling in college was a big adjustment. Coming from one of the most 
under economically privileged communities in New York City, which is South Jamaica, Queens. where one is not expected to excel, let alone survive. I want to tell you, there are no excuses. I have made it. <laughs> Allow me a few minutes to tell my story. When I was 16 years old, my father signed me up to go into the army. I had to wait until my 17th birthday before the army would take me. Mind you, all I had was an eighth grade education. Then, when I was discharged from the army, I tried to find work. Since I was a veteran, I thought it was going to be easy to get a job. Huh. But quickly I learned being a vet made no difference. I could not find any work anywhere. Finally, I found a job with Liberty Avenue and Dunkirk Avenue a place called Martin Maid. It was a factory. Since I did not have a high school diploma, they hired me to do minimal work. They had me climb into a big flower vat around 30 feet high. Once inside, I had to shovel flour into a metal garbage cans until they was full. Then use the pulley to bring the cans out of the vat. That was my job for eight hours a day. When I was not in the vat shoveling flour, I was walking around the factory scraping gum off the floor with a paint scraper. Even though I was a veteran back then without a diploma of some sort of degree, the only work I could get was less than a factory worker. I could not believe that while being a veteran and serving my country well, I still could not get a decent job. I worked at McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Kmart, and various other similar companies. What really got to me was that I was not a cook, cashier, or even a stock worker. All employers hired me as a maintenance person, still scraping gum off the floor. Believe me, coming from South Jamaica, Queens, I was faced with a lot of obstacles just trying to survive. Every time I tried to advance, something would come up to set me back. I knew in my heart there had to be a better way. So I prayed to my God to show me a better way. I don't know exactly when it happened, but one day I saw a sign saying, veterans, get your GED. I signed up in June 1975, and I completed my GED that following year. You see, no matter how hard you fall, the answer is how fast you get up. It is no excuse, and today, I am graduating from QCC. I made the Dean's List with a 3.3 GPA, while going to school full-time, work from 5 p.m. to 11, and working again from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m before coming back to school. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank my beautiful wife, Shirley, who's here today, <laughs> who stood by me during this journey of achievement and who supported me from day one. I want to thank my close friends who are also here in the audience and have supported me since my childhood. And again, to my fellow graduates. We did it! <laughs> and by the way, never stop your desire to learn. And as Dr. Cole is known to say, always remain curious. Congratulations and thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Jones. Truly, thank you. With us on the platform are many distinguished guests, so please hold your applause until I have finished recognizing them. From the college, Provost to Senior Vice President Michael Reiner, Vice Presidents Karen Steele, Ellen Hardigan, Rosemary Zins, William Faulkner, and Denise Ward, Deans Liza Larios, Michelle Hodge, Paul Jean Pierre, Arthur Corradetti, and Laura Bruno. Representing our own Queensborough Community College Fund Board of Directors, Ms. Eleanor Embarato, and the chair people from our 17 amazing academic departments. We now move to the portion of these ceremonies when we recognize those members of our graduating class who are receiving honors. It is my pleasure to present the College Awards. And the recipients, please come forward as I call your name. The John F. Kennedy Memorial Award goes to the student demonstrating outstanding college and community leadership, Mr. Damien Ifko. The Martin Luther King Jr. Award presented to a student who has demonstrated exceptional leadership in promoting racial harmony and appreciation of cultural diversity, Mr. Stephen Jones. President's Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Associate in Arts degree is awarded to Mr. James Conroy, who could not be with us today, but he did an amazing job in his degree area. The President's Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Associate in Science degree is shared because these two, two students have a perfect GPA. And here, that's our 4.0. Mr. Kin Chung Lung and Mr. Song Song. The President's Award for Outstanding Achievement in Applied Science degree goes to Mr. Alan Berlow, who could be not be with us today. Fifty years ago, Queensborough Community College celebrated its third commencement ceremony. This year, the college celebrates the golden jubilee of our class of 1964 and the silver anniversary of the class of 1989. Members of these classes have traveled back to QCC to reunite with their former classmates and to salute you, the class of 2014. Bear with us today, the 50th anniversary class, Herman Berger, Ira Schwartz, Patrick Klein, Michael Kalin, Michael Patrickios, Joseph McCone, and Michael Tobin. From the 1989 class celebrating its 25th anniversary, Christy Koperil, Boris McKay, Elizabeth Hansen, Ethel Cato, Ashwak Aziz, Lorraine Butcher, Karen Klonsberg, Sabrina Lal Mohammed and Angela Maneri Rubio. Welcome home, alumni. We shall now proceed with the conferring of degrees and certificates. The candidates will be presented 
by the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Michael Reiner. Will the audience please refrain from applauding until each degree group has been conferred and certificates granted. Will candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts please rise. President Call, these candidates have met all the requirements for their degrees. I am pleased to present them to you, and I respectfully request that you confer upon them the degree of Associate in Arts. Upon the recommendation of the Vice President and the faculty of the college, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the City University of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Associate in Arts with all the rights, privileges, immunities, and honors thereunto appertaining. Shante Rice. Elan Ochichuku. Deborah Goodman. Bruce Cancelo. <laughs> Jairo Lopez. Khadija Anderson. Shadeja Covington. Danielle Warner. Ana Valdez, Patricia Acoste Almonte, Katrina Robbins, Yomaira Ferreira, Puresa Halezopoulos, Elizabeth Olave, Stephanie Vijasis, Diana Flores. Sheila Ferguson. Josephine Carleo Bonanno. Jessica Colon. Olivia Roach. Nancy Figueroa. Dennis Corpano. Chanel Rivera. Tiffany Patterson, John Duran, Wendy Gonzalez, Catherine Fiore, Jenny Ma, Betty Walter, Adrian Williams, Nicole Volkerick, Magali Alexis, Irina Musayeva, Hennessy Castillo, Shelly Singh, Mari Cannon, Jasmine Bernard, Jovan Ledres, Lindita Muratovic, Daisy Leon, Nazir Khan, Natalia Koss. Shakia Hall, Alexandra Charles, Karen Romero, Roberta Hudgens, Andrew Jean, Katia Kispe, Angelo Jiao, Marva El Gizawe. Marsha Horn, Angela Chimieri, Genesis Fernandez, Magdalena Arvello, Alejandra Velasquez, 
Melissa Banks, Amber Wilds, Julissa Wilds, Tracy Monroe, Thomas Williams, Natalie Wyant, Danielle Fleming, Andrea Patino, Angelique Medina, Latoya McCray, Jalisa Cadet, Melanie Benanti, Jane Chirico, Cartier Alonzo, Jeffrey Torres, Alicia Joseph, Shannon Reed, Sabrina Kearns, Naima Townsend, Christina Cabrera, Destiny Banks, Shannon Montgomery, Carlithia Harris, Selena Netram, Mandy Persaud, Vandana Pablo, Barbara Benjamin, Yannick Frith, Khalifa Guthrie, Champagne Charles, Onika Dean, Julissa Ben, Ashley Falla, Akila McKenna, Laura Mosquera, Jeffrey Carlin, Omar Abbas, Danielle Palumbo Miller, Zachary Cruz, Richard Tejada, Ryan Clarson, Catherine Ardian, Christian Polonia, Canu Umenta, Diana Cardona, Esmeralda Moranchel, Elizabeth Ascari, Ashley Evans, Gabriel Villatis, Esther Frisch, Glorimar Gonzalez, Michelle Singh, Amal Ulla, Karen Rodriguez, Rosario Castillo, Melissa Hincapi, Arvi Guzman, Brian Kuala, Raymond Brown, Marco Arango, Renald Castillo, Daphne Bani, Ikama Belabe, France Legerme, Denise Hernandez, Kafolina Zabulnova, Latifa Dobbins, Amardev Rampersad, Priya Shigwabind, Hema Thakurdin, Hepzibar Prem Kumar, Marin Pittman, Gloria Odaba, Natalie Ramos, Luis Vasquez, D. Lynn, Chad Macau, Jolie Kaufman, Eric Vested, Julie Balaus Degui, Zofikar Sumro, Charlize Matthews, Trevor Green, Luis Gonzalez, Roger Smith, Alberto Alvarez.
Bilal Hussain, Amanda Just, Lillian Talavera, Tracy Artis, Queen Toussaint, Kanisha Gibbons, Alyssa Ruiz, Aji Map, Tequilin Vassell, Jenny Chabla, Francisco Frias, Juan Pinto Franco, Shante McKenzie, Divya Singh, Darlene Bertil, Catherine Rivera, Dane McDonald, Sharon Galicia, Lauren Diaz, Roldi Agoste, Alexandra Sala, Alyssa Ciano, Fiza Sami, Melanie Horowitz, Emily Fonseca, Renesha Williams, Sarah Sarti Hernandez, Yuan Jimani, Jabari Brown, Karen Deep Kaur, Amidula Shabiza, Miguel Tola, Kozel Waldron, Francesca Ulisi, Natalia Desmoris, Cosbert Henry, Kayla San Martin, Marinez Lago, Genesis Feliz, Alexandra Aguilar, Daisy Vivar, Ashanette Moody, Mauro Ramos, Zulia Alves, Mary Rodriguez, Laura Restituyu, Gina Licar Astri, Denise Cruz, Lisbeth Colado, Claire Albrecht, Jonathan Rua, Samuel Sanision, Uma Singh. William Clemente, Maniza Ahmed, Taisha Samuels, Ling Yu, Jonisa Bakus, Fitzcarl Reed, the next group. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you want to do it now? Those students wearing a blue and white cord are graduating with honors, and students wearing a yellow stole are members of Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate in Science please rise? The candidates 
to the degree of associate in science are assembled. President Call, these candidates have met all the requirements for their degrees. I am pleased to present them to you, and I respectfully request that you confer upon them the degree of associate in science. Upon the recommendation of the Vice President and the faculty of the college, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the City University of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Associate in Science with all the rights, privileges, immunities, and honors thereunto appertaining. Kadian Grant. Terry Ann Hodges, Veronica Molina, Sung Song, Kin Chung Leung, Ami Dula Popal, Jonathan Morales, Jong Chul, Sa, Vijay Shinoy. Dayu Hagigi, Stephanie Kutichis, Danny Reynoso, Ladislav Rajiski, Jane Simmons, Dale Nathaniel, Eliza Pacheco, Pamela Ramsawick, Ramsawick. Deanna Wright, Phil Ann Allen, Kamila Picora Vujovic, Lakisha Seabrook, Temidayo Sika Bomilididi, Chanel Chin, Jean DeCamp, Bernard J. Fortin, Jessica Rivera, Sherlana Rupal, Vivian Florian, Fitzgerald St. Hubert, Wei Wu Lee, Anthony Godet, Nicole Fernandez, Terry Ann Braithwaite, Chun Han Lei, Brenda Carpenter, Michelle Uloma, Suzette Hilton, Bobby Davis, Freddie Perez, Isinga Hernandez, Kimberly Martinez, Shalin Zaltar. Shirin Akhtir, Radhika Arjun, Sabina Reismar, Jasmine Rivera, Chia Yi Fu, Hector Quinero, Quinteros, Janina Guaman, Ronald Price, Mariah Hamilton, Jessica Opokua, Latipa Facey, Raquel Bragg, Mishang Sanders, Sanders, Diana Polveda, Nazia Bati, Edward Chong. Omar Thomas, Sabrina Harriet, Yamisha Young, Kimberly DeBata, Lisa Rodriguez, Jabriel Pierce, Keila Otero, Harry Persaud. George Sorzano, Michelle Figueroa, 
Daka Fidele. Slims Florentino. Catherine Bravo. Shanice Finley. Ayana Woods. Desiree Hicks. James Torres. Ann Barella. Gael Muzak. Emil Carr Sinat. Annette Aguirre. Noshin Fatima. Lita Ramos. Franz Marquez. Andrew Garcia. Keisha Mullings. Amanda Boding. Alex Escorcia. Israt Sharman. April Saul. Andres Mora. Natalia Velicella. Adelise Rivera. Said Kadesha McNeish. Rushan Parker. Brandon Palmieri. Maribel Traverso. Patrick Giles. Alyssa Chiarelli. James Fares. Mianmian Liang. Shalana Wilhelmsen. Jose Lopez Macias. Chai Wang. Michael Rodriguez. Jordi Silverio. Joseph Sussman. Naomi Rave. Ye Twing Chen. Chang Him Se. And Kara Epich. Charmaine Fertuodo. Audrey Gonzalez. Ranuk Reika. Raewoong Lee. Shiting Zhang. Lisa Sukunan. Carlos Caro. Monica Garduno. Billy Cazola. Sandy Sosa. Maria Peralta. Suzanne Markland. Rabbi Gasambi. Lauren Condon. Malik Collier. Sabrina Suseran. Edith Kamarundan. Brenda Cortez. Charles Smith. Astrid Panida. Rosa Panida. Edisa Serda. Antonio Bincom. Ashley Belizari. Nicholas Rodriguez. Ricky Ming Yu. Lorena Hernandez. Yanisia Mateus. Laura Jolasier. Rudy Midens. Michael Lawrence. David Listhrop. Joseph Salcedo. Young Jin Kim. Shanice Bailey. Joanne Jean. Kimberly Dare. Yi Shun Hong. Carmen Oi. Justin Ryan Schofel. Joshua Marie. Michael Mulkay. Ho Kuo. Nicole Cruz Gomez. Christina Santos. Deshawn Curtin. Jasmine Evelyn. Darian D'Aguilar. 
Janisa Gill, Zing Yan Chen, David Pacheco, Muhammad Ahmad, Chelly Zuni, Rodney Watson. Philip White. No! No! Vladimir Lacree. Yeah. Shauna Lord. Diana Godillo. Kimberly Godillo. Danisa Vandez. Jessica Varela. Jonathan Rojas, Andriana Jimenez, Steve Ramos, Karen Marie Anchluna, Jennifer Carbusha, Christina Paul, Carlin Lugu, Jessica Morris, Diego Barona, Yelena Rosario, Fasha Ta Amani, Nagan Yaki, Luis Hernandez, Jarrell Banks, Rio Turin, Anissa Dunde. Christina Rumanta, Miriam Ali Rodriguez, Christopher LeBay, Alex J. Christina, Catherine M Meredith, Gabrielle Rodriguez, Jessica Rappaport, Louis Gerges. Dorian Robinson, Katarina Sekamena, Ravina Ramatar, Michelle Baptiste, Crystal Blake, Eves Jean, Group. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate in Applied Science and for certificates please rise? What order should I put the the candidates okay. Okay. for the degree of Associate in Applied Science are assembled as are the candidates for certificates. President Call, these candidates have met all the requirements for their degrees. I am pleased to present them to you, and I respectfully request that you confer upon them the degree of Associate in Applied Science and grant their certificates. Great job, amazing speech. Upon the recommendation of the Vice President and the faculty of yeah. the college, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the City University of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Associate in Applied Science with all the rights, privileges, immunities, and honors thereunto appertaining, and I grant you your certificates. Course, Philip Corps. Mohammed Ganazetti. <laughs> Stay Ulet. Sabing Zhao. Arjun Hemamwadi. 
Eco Damien. Charmaine Jones. Marion Moore. Lanesha Joseph. Sherelle Miller. Sasha Cleary. Stephanie Torres. Timothy Luciano. Andrew Hilbert. Lutsi Singh. Fan Jin. Karen Gray. Bradley Adams. Soraya Ricardo. Marcia Stevens. Mohammed Ashfaq. Lynette Williams. Cheryl Joaquim. Tristan Breadwood. Taji Tate. Ariana Torto. Shane Garth. Sophia Eviad. <laughs> Nelly Mayers. Natasha Jawahir. Nicole Lewis. Laquel Briggins. Navisha Siswankar. David Juarez. Jawed Hira. Sashrish Lias. Francisco Latasea. Radcliffe Brown. Enrique Haro. Christian Bonifacio. Abelito Martinez. Matthew Thomas. Tracy Morris. Luz Pada, Alfredo Castillo, Leonard Jean, Mike Valleas, Chinwe Alonye, Kamal Jewanadan, Stephanie Ann De Los Reyes, Michael Brown, Bowen. Michael Bowen, <laughs> Andy Saran, Yachuan Chan, Sedatanalji Shinkuma, Hilda Pizzini, Jeanette Evans, Victor Arganarans, ah. <laughs> Paul Tapia, Zakia Hatami, Ramdai Pereira, Jenny Chow, Kimberly Hidalgo, Brian Santiago, Anna Omfri Pluma, Jumin Shen. Jonathan Ariadas Dominguez. Priscilla Yara. Estidoir Lopez. Ashley Williams. Aaron Medina. Christopher Rivera. David Yakobov. Farid Saleh. Sira Rivas. Linda Morales, Junith McFarlane, Jiao Yang, Young Park, Ian Spratley, Stephanie Gutierrez, Alana Slavenhues, 
Brian Tang. Artur Felic. Jakub Glob. Anna Rivas Caranza. Nancy Rodriguez. Kevin Lopez. Imani Smith. Chauncey Merriman. Yamaira Guaman. Jessica Membreno. Tanisha Ruiz. Magali Leon. Christopher Anunaku. Tegran Pogosian. Crystal Bedell. Lin Hot Ong. Mai Zhang. Jonathan Bravo. Winifred Graham. Berna Oslik. Christian Manuela Castro. Lanicia Remicki. Jennifer Mingo. Jeffrey Lawrence. Brandon Milliner. Shaquille Everett. Mikhail Soltanov. Avinash Kandi. Eric Siguenza. Morris Mingwingira. Mario Valbuena. Andre Johnson. Janelle Anderson. Joelle Singleton. Alicia Aspie. Nyaka Peters. Getiram Paremdio. Henry Johnson. Franklin Hayes, Tariq Hossein, Ralph Jamani, Chirella Sands, Sabrina Nandram, Karishma Rampersad, Denalyn Patinio, Sandy Enriquez, Chung Tsai, Michelle Mediate, Mojgan Biramzadeh, Kyung Ryu Lee, Mina Pacheco, Hui Lee, Maria Akihe, Mercy Takuri, Miguel Encarnacion, Sean Saunders, Teofilo Herrera, Sandra Hussett, Cynthia Cordoba, Aaron Anthony, Joanne Ochoa, Tania Amin, Nina Narain, Michael Hattrick, Fernando Guerrier, Derek Cruz, Yanwen Kao, Yen Kim Chong, Diego Chafloque, Julio Compira, Jamel Burgess, Edward Castillo, Rene Moreno, Stephen Blanco, Lenny Stylis Jackson. Stephen Jones.
graduates, graduates, Graduates of 2014, your education at Queensboro, in and outside the classroom, has prepared you to engage in a world marked by uncertainty and ambiguity. Even with all you have learned, you may experience some anxiety or apprehension taking the next step on your journey. Believe in yourself as we believe in you and take a risk. Don't stay on the sidelines. You have been conferred degrees which bring rights and privileges. As a graduate, you also have responsibilities. You should participate in your community and the larger society. Make a difference. Among our graduates today is Hyunji Kim. We know her as Anna. She was one of the Queensboro students who participated in the Salzburg Austria Global Seminar this spring. At that time, she visited the memorial at Dachau, which was a concentration camp in World War II. When she returned, she reflected on that experience. And Anna drew from the words of Nicholas Winton, the hero of the Kinder Transport, who risked his life to save the lives of hundreds of children from the Nazi camps. Anna shared this message with me, and I do so with you. Do not be content in your life just to do no wrong. Be prepared every day to do some good. Will the class of 2014 please stand? In recognition, in recognition of the conferment of your degree, please move the tassel of your cap from the right to the left. The class of 2014 well now, this is your part, sing the alma mater, led by music students Chandra Tiong and Joseph Tak, under the direction of Dr. Stephen Dalkey. Following the alma mater, the audience is requested to remain standing for the recessional. As these ceremonies come to a close, please remain in your places until all the members of the platform party and the students have exited. And afterwards, you're all invited to the banners in the back of this tent outside on the track where you can meet the faculty who had such an important part of your life while at Queensborough.